It is America's newest federal holiday, Juneteenth, commemorating the end of slavery. Cities across the country marking the occasion with parades and concerts. And this is the third year of celebration since President Joe Biden gave Juneteenth federal status in 2021. One of the nation's largest parades was held in Philadelphia and in Washington, D.C., festivals lined the streets. The city of Galveston marking the birthplace of what is now Juneteenth, a day of liberation now celebrated across the country. During the Civil War, there was a point where newly freed slaves in Connecticut joined the fight against the Confederacy. There were two all-black regiments in our state that helped propel the North to victory. Now, I spoke with Kelly Miro, a descendant of a soldier who served in Connecticut's 29th Regiment. It was her dad who discovered that connection. Take a look. Connecticut's 29th Regiment, the state's first all-colored Civil War unit to help fight against the Confederacy after being freed from slavery. At the site where more than 900 people used to train at Criscolo Park in New Haven, now lies a memorial with names etched in stone. Kelly Miro is a sixth-generation descendant of Joseph Sills, who was a member of the 29th. Oh, there's Sills. There he is, Joseph Sills. See it? Her dad, Harrison, found the relation when he was doing a genealogy search. He uncovered that he was also African-American, got excited, dug a little deeper, and then started to find that some of his Native American ancestors and some of his black ancestors were members of the CT-29 Colored Regiment. Connecticut history shows the 29th marched from Connecticut to Virginia, then finally landing in Texas in April of 1865 to report for duty one last time. This means on June 19th, now known as Juneteenth, when Union troops landed in Galveston, Texas to spread the word of the Emancipation Proclamation, Miro's ancestor, Joseph Sills, was also in the state on his last assignment. Feeling really uh, connected to their work, knowing that like they were there, right? Somebody who shares my blood. So this Kelly says her dad, dad who died in 2015, Miro. was also proud of his connection to that historic moment. My father is wearing a uh, uniform that is a replica of what the members of the CT-29 Colored Regiment actually wore. He walked in parades and taught about the history in schools. Now, Kelly says she bears the torch. She and other descendants have been putting on Juneteenth celebrations for eight years now. We celebrate right, being black and brown through food, drink, and dance, and it really is a special time. Art plays an important role in Juneteenth celebrations. World-renowned musician Don McClellan joins us in Studio B to talk just about that. And look, every good celebration needs good food. Juneteenth is included. We'll explore that is the taste of the holiday and their significance. We'll be right back.